<laughs> That's true. Uh, Harry, last night, did you watch Line of Duty? Have you been watching Line of Duty? I am calm. I'm totally bloody calm. Uh, that's something I need to go back and watch. I know that it was the finale last night and it was like, Not well it received. got super great ratings. I, kn- I know that people were disappointed by it. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Um, maybe if I, maybe now that's, now that it's happened, now would be a good time for me to go back and watch the whole thing mm. with that expectation and maybe I'll be able to receive it better. I'm not sure. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. So, okay. So there's been a, a, a number of names from Line of Duty thrown around. And I don't care whether it's one rotten apple or the whole bloody barrel. To be uh, the, the the replacement of Jodie Whittaker is the 14th Doctor, and I I do think that you want if you are trying to find out who that actor is going to be, you want to be looking at shows like Line of Duty. <laughs> And Peaky Blind, you know, these big BBC drama um, programs. Mm. What else is there? There's something else at the moment. I can't remember what it is. But um, you want to be looking at these big programs to try and see who Chibnall, maybe not Chibnall, as I'll get to in a minute, is going to cherry pick and possibly uh, take Mm. from these programs. So the current uh, favourites from these shows are, of course, uh, Vicky McClure, who is uh, the lead and actually plays Kate, I believe, and also from This Is England. There is Kelly McDonald, who we've mentioned before, who I've since found out is um, from Train Spotting. She's the young girl in Train Spotting that Ewan McGregor has uh, a romantic interest with, and also appears in the in the second Train Spotting as well. And the most recent one from Motherland, as well as Line of Duty, is Anne Maxwell Martin. Um, I haven't seen Line of Duty, so I can't pass comment, and I know you haven't as well. So I can't really pass comment on either of these. Um, as actors and what their talent is, I would kind of rule out um, Vicky McClure though, because I feel like she's now too um, too big of a name to take on this role. She's almost got that Phoebe Waller Bridge syndrome for Doctor Who, which is there. Th- there was a point maybe a year ago where they could have done it, but they're now too too famous to do it. They've surpassed Doctor Who. Yeah, <laughs> which is a weird thing to say because Doctor Who's like still a big show. But then, like, you get these BBC dramas that can get really big audiences. Yeah. So, no, but I, if what do you think then about these TV? Would you advise people to start looking at these programs as well to try and get an insight into? So I, I, I wouldn't recommend people look at the main cast. You want to be looking at the supporting cast and things like that. Mm, yeah. Maybe someone like no, I'm not going to do that. I was about to do a cheeky name drop. Go on. Who was you going to say? Um. I know that there's um, been one cast member on Line of Duty, an actor called Nigel Boyle, who has been in previous series, but he was more prominent in the most recent series. And me on my AMA, I was lucky enough to uh, um, take part in kind of a and a session with him because he was involved with my drama school oh, cool. uh, way back when. But yeah, <laughs> I could, I could that's, literally just, that's just literally an excuse. That's literally an excuse for me to go, hey, guess who I know? <laughs> I could maybe see it. I could maybe see him more as a villain, though, than a... Uh... He has... I, I, if you're looking at his headshots uh, since those, he has um, grown a beard out, and his hair is curling. So <gasps> maybe that's more fitting. Oh, my goodness. Maybe he's actually Tom Baker. We've never realised. <laughs> uh... Oh, you know, a bit of a Paul McGann thing. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. He hated that hair, apparently, Paul McGann. Paul McGann wanted what Eccleston got. Wasn't I think... that... 